welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm actually going to touch on the subject of access courses i feel like not many people know about access courses because most people kind of do a levels or if they've already got their a levels but don't have and a few class points to tend to do a foundation course but access courses are actually really really good and it's the one that i've done to be able to get into university so yeah access courses aren't really touched on much um well not that i've seen anyways and i actually didn't even know that existed until i started looking in to going to university and how I could go to university and get more UCAS points. But before we get into this video, if you do enjoy my channel, please subscribe down below and press the bell notification to be notified every time I upload a video. So without further ado, let's just get on to the video. So an access course is a course that you can do if you are over the age of 19 and you've already done A-levels and you didn't get the UCAS points that you needed to get in university or if you actually don't have your A levels yet and you want to kind of get a university quicker. Well, an access course is basically two years of A levels crammed into one. So on my course, I did an access to nursing and midwif midwifery. And within my course, I did biology, psychology and social issues. And I also did study skills. It's kind of like finding out the best skills and qualities that you have. And it's also, you do your UCAS and everything with it as well. But if you've done your A-levels and you don't actually have enough UCAS points to get into university and you are over the age of 19, I would highly recommend doing an access course. So I would say the first thing to do is actually do your research on what course you want to do and what college is going to be best for you to do your course at. So I looked at Newcastle, Time Met and Ashen in college and then I ended up narrowing it down to Newcastle and Time Met. So I applied for both of them. Um, I would say when you're applying for an access course actually don't just go on and have a look what they offer. Actually look at the course breakdown because I preferred the course breakdown for Newcastle in the subjects and what I did for Time Met. Also for Time Met I had to do a maths test and an English test to get in whereas with Newcastle I literally went well I thought I was going for an interview but it turns out I was actually just enrolling so I took a personal statement and everything that they asked me to do and I didn't actually end up needing them which was really weird but yeah look into the courses see what you want to do and also look at the course content and choose what's best for you. So I ended up going to Newcastle College to do my access course and I really enjoyed it. So I wasn't sure about psychology because I'd never done it before, but it was actually really good. I struggled a bit with social issues, um, but once I got into it, it was totally fine. And biology, I just loved it anyway. So on my access course, I did all coursework and then I was meant to have a psychology exam at the end of the year. But I know every course kind of differs. Some actually make you do three exams at the end of the year and some don't. Luckily for me, they'd actually just changed it because in previous years, I actually had done three exams at the end of the year for each subject. But with my year, I actually only would have done a psychology exam. But I, I would actually say that an access course is really helpful if you do want to get a university quick, if you're a little bit older and you're feeling a bit anxious about your age and everything, or if you just want to get into work quicker. So is an access course worth it? Um, yes i loved my access course the teachers were really helpful they gave you the work told you what you needed to include and told you how to structure it obviously you do have to do the work yourself but they are there if you need them i can't really say for other colleges because i don't know how they work but i know that with time met i haven't heard the best things about the course the only thing i actually didn't like about my course was actually how long the teachers took to get your grades back to you don't get us wrong i absolutely loved my teachers and they were the nicest teachers ever but they give you like a 21 working day to get your grades back and um i was actually took about like two months but it was kind of understandable at the end because like obviously the pandemic happened and they all had to move online and it was kind of like everything was up in the end we didn't know what was happening it took two months for me to get my grades back like near the end which was kind of annoying because every other college knew what the grades were another thing i liked about newcastle was actually when you were a HE student actually have a 10th floor at the top of the building it's just for HE students so you can get away from like all the I'm not saying that all annoying but like mostly annoying 16 17 year olds like up to the age of 19 running around the building like being really annoying so that was nice we kind of had our own area to go and sit and do our work because there was a massive computer floor on the top and then on the other side of that there was actually like a chill area with vendor machines and everything access courses are definitely worth it if you don't actually have your a levels 
to be able to get onto a foundation course as well. Um, so say if you've just done your GCSEs and you want to go to university but you don't want to sit and do two years of A-levels, you can actually do an access course within one year. It is really intense, you do end up having like three pieces of coursework to hand in for the subjects like all at the same time sometimes. Um, but if you manage your time efficiently then you'll be absolutely fine like i would just say as soon as you get a bit of work to do start on it because most likely the week later you'll actually get coursework for the next one and then coursework for the next one and it kind of all piles up on top of you i actually made that mistake within the first term and i was so stressed especially with biology because having to do diagrams and everything with biology was just awful and when you had other pieces of coursework on top it was just the worst thing ever split your time efficiently and you'll be absolutely fine and also remember as well everyone on that access course isn't going to be young isn't going to be 19 like spring chickens i had people from the age of like 19 up to the age of 39 like you're never too old to change your career so if you're sat at home thinking oh i want to do something else with my life but i don't actually have the grades to get into university and you're over the age of 19 go and do an access course because it'll only take you a year and then you've got three years of university and you're set overall access courses are really really good just make sure that you pick the right one for you you'll be done within a year you can go off to university they give you all the skills and everything that you need to go to university they help you with your ucas to help you pick out what skills are best for you i actually had a mock interview with my teacher before i went for my interviews which was really helpful um because i felt less nervous and i knew what kind of questions they were going to ask me and you also do like other little topics within like functional skills as well at least that's what my college offered anyways and i found it really helpful i wouldn't have been able to get through my university interviews if i didn't have mock interviews before and i didn't have help with my ucas because <laughs> I hate writing personal statements and I hate interviews, I was so nervous but somehow I managed to get through them and I did really well on my interviews and I got offers from my universities so they help you choose like what universities are best for you and everything as well, they tell you to look into everything thoroughly, kind of the same as choosing your access course when you go to university, choose the course which is right for you and look into the breakdown of the content because there's nothing worse than going on a course and hating every single subject that you do or if you're choosing an access course go online look into it look into the course breakdown and pick what one's right for that's you that's pretty much all i have to say on access courses i think so if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and you can follow me on my social medias which will be linked down below and i will see you on my next video bye guys